everybody. This is uh, Hendrix Adventures. Yeah, let me back up so you'll be able to see me here. Anyway, whoa, whoa boy. Anyway, I'm here with my dog Lucky, very special guest. We're here to hike the trail over here at uh, Twin Sister Lakes. Um, it's 6.40, so we gotta get going. Sun is coming down a little bit, so we need to get some shelter before uh, it gets too late. And uh, anyway, I got a bunch of gear here in the back, about 25 pounds worth. Got Lucky's gear too as well, and uh, we're here to hike the trail. So thank you for joining me, and let's get going. Hey guys, me and Lucky here, we're uh, hiking the trail here, um, coming around the top. A little bit of a steep uh, climb. Um, as you can see, we're kind of headed up. Uh, got a little bit of a late start. Lucky had to go to the bathroom on the side of the road, so uh, we stopped. Uh, went to the bathroom and then they gave him some water before we got going and get the rest of his gear in my backpack. Uh, kind of a spare moment thing of taking him, but uh, everyone suggested that I take uh, my little friend here. You can see he's ready to go. Uh, dogs on leash only until we get uh, to a final destination on the trail at least see I'm a little bit out of breath only well, because we had a log we had to get over I guess it fell down before they got a chance to be able to clear the way but anyway we're here uh, hiking it out in the middle of nowhere uh, Hope you guys stay with me. I'm not gonna videotape today all this much, but because uh, we gotta find shelter quick before the sun gets down. So we'll at least get the destination and then I'll show you guys what I'm setting up and everything like that. So I uh, see you guys soon. There we go. We're definitely up. Up in the middle of nowhere. Still on the trail. Still pretty decent. Um, a little bit moderate. Going up is uh, a little rough in a couple areas. Especially trying to hold the dog back. Uh, he wants to just go forward and go, but that's why we're here. So that way he can train and that way I can get a little bit more experience. Um, so here we go, guys. All right, we made it. There's a little sister behind me, uh, Twin Sister Lakes. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty sweaty. Um, it was a little bit of a hike up here, uh, to be honest with you. Um, and, but we made it up here. Definitely on the way down, it's gonna be a hell of a lot easier. I guarantee you that. Um, man, bugs are out tonight. Sorry about that. Uh, definitely got to get some spray going on here. Uh, we need to set up a uh, camp. Um, definitely, definitely got to set up really soon. As you can see, the sun's coming down. I can actually see the glimpse of the moon a little bit. But it's pretty peaceful. And... Uh, straight ahead of me let me turn the camera around here this way should be uh towards uh big sister i'm gonna head out towards here because it's a little bit more clear as far as like uh water i brought some water with me but uh i definitely need to get some more and lucky needs some water definitely like pretty bad so anyway we'll hike up this way and uh we'll get back to you the entourage here to go to the big sister. As you can see there's a little uh, ditch in here. Looks like a creek that dried up uh, a long time ago. But apparently a while ago these two uh, 
lakes were connected, but by a little stream, I think. Anyway, here's a little campground right here in the in between it. I think I gotta go go towards uh, Big Sister so we can get a drink of water and set up camp really quick. So here we go. All right, I'm back. We had to went back to the uh, campsite over here by in between uh, Little Sister and Big Sister. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and stay here for the night. Um, I didn't want to wander off too far uh, because the trail is actually back this way over here. Uh, which I forgot to tell you guys that uh, I looked at the sign when I got to the top of the hill here. Um, and uh, um, it's okay to freaking from this campsite to have a fire, which is good. Uh, so we're going to have a little maintained fire. Uh, there's a little fire pit right here, as you can see, right in this area. Uh, got my gear over there but uh, so we're gonna go in and set up camp and everything like that and uh, uh, build a fire so we have some light at least and um, so let's get it because uh, it's getting very very dark here very very soon so I got like a, maybe a few minutes to be able to set up everything um, at least get a fire at least um, so that way we have some light and then uh, we got some trees over here and set up camp. So this is what we'll do. I'll get back to you in a second. You see right here, you guys, we have a tent all set up. I went ahead and uh, decided I was gonna go with uh, my Alpha Outpost uh, hideout tent. Um, so this is what it looks like. Uh, taking the inside here before it gets too late. I do wanna start a fire and freaking get uh, something in to eat. I definitely know that Lucky's hungry, and uh, come here, boy. Come here. So we definitely had to beat the clock on this one <laughs> down for a second, and uh, we're definitely bringing a hike up here. Um, next time, I know it's a little bit of a trial in there, so but at least we got camp up. We have an open space right here. We had the waterfront, or uh, the water sitting over here on this side. Uh, next to uh, little sister so here you go you guys we have this all set up right here and uh, I'm so glad we were able to be able to do a fire I'm happy about that um, I'm gonna get the mosquito net up and uh, get that ready to go because there is mosquitoes out here they're not really biting me too much they're just kind of like annoying um, they're really really annoying um, it's kind of driving me nuts, so I'm going to go ahead and freaking get the mosquito net set up here around this door since it doesn't have one. Um, it's definitely not going to rain. Um, if it does, I do have a tarp that I can lay over top of this, and uh, we should be good. So, all right, I got it set up. Um, I was going to take you guys inside. I'll probably take it, you guys inside uh, probably when in the morning, but it's definitely getting dark. I want to get the... Uh, a uh, little fire going. There's no breeze whatever up so whatsoever up here. Um, it's really not that bad of a weather. Um, if I would have to guess, I would say probably about like 60 degrees, uh, which is okay for me. I can deal with that. Uh, definitely lucky. Um, I'll definitely take a picture and uh, post it on, on Facebook and everything like that of me and Lucky inside the tent when it get, gets a little bit lighter. But it's definitely getting dark. I definitely had to beat the clock here. Uh, to get everything set up so you see my got my tent behind me um, so it's definitely peaceful out here um, definitely here in a minute I'm gonna go down and get some water but I definitely want to get a fire going at least uh, because it's uh, starting to get dark so I brought flashlights and everything like that so we should be good to go um, I'm definitely getting bit, actually, uh, which is weird. I don't normally get bit by mosquitoes, but man, they are out. Um, I knew it was going to be like that. Uh, I do have some insect repellent to be able to get that. Got some more tick spray for Lucky, um, which he's down here below me. I don't know if you can be able to see him or not, but <laughs> there he is. Hey, boy. <laughs> he's tired. He had one hell of a trip. Uh, me too. Um, 
definitely my 25 pounds that I have in my bag. Uh, definitely, as uh, time went on, I was getting a little heavier. Um, I would say it was about a good, like an hour, hour and a half hike up here, and it flattened out a little bit. Uh, so right now I'm in between, and uh, thanks, Dad, for the idea. I am actually in between both the uh, big sister and little sister, which is perfect. Um, I definitely still going to be showing you guys my uh, emergency tent. I'll set it up tomorrow. I had definitely have plenty of time. I'm definitely not in no rush. So today's the only thing you know. Friday, I still got Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Sunday, I leave. So um, definitely got plenty of food. Lucky's got plenty of food. So I've been planning this for a while, you guys. Um, anyway, I need to stop talking. Let's make a fire. <laughs> All right, let's get a fire going here. I think I have some stuff that would burn. There's some dry stuff that someone left behind, so this would be good. I definitely have some freaking uh, some toilet paper stuff too that I can. Get a little light underneath. I might have to do that because uh, it's just a little bit wet. Yep, you can get one going here. All right, there we go. Got one going here. Definitely was a little bit of a task, but. Definitely got it going a little bit. Definitely need to get my saw out or my little handy dandy knife. Be able to chop some more in there. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry, it took me a little long. Uh, come here, Lucky. Come here. You okay? A little close to the fire, buddy. Anyway, we're up here. It's like uh, 9.30 at night. Um, definitely got dark soon. See the moon is out. It's pretty bright. Some beautiful stars. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, Definitely a weird experience. I finally got a fire going. Um, I'm so happy I would be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to see shit out here if it wasn't for a fire. Um, yeah, it is for sure. That fire beats all purposes, you know. As soon as I got to the top of the hill, I've seen that. You know, that was perfect. As a matter of fact, there's another hikers just along the way, about a mile down, that had a fire too um, in the campground area. Um, open area, so that worked out perfect actually, you know um, Have got anything to eat. I am gonna sit here and eat this apple um, Definitely not really too hungry. I ate before I left so Got lucky something to eat. I eat this good old dog food It's getting hot, buddy. You know, I don't want to sit right here Come over here Over here it's Getting really hot for you, buddy it burn your skin. But, uh, anyway, yeah, I got the flashlights out and everything like that. Got my handy lamp. So you see it's freaking a little bit brighter. Um, so I definitely got some light. Um, so that's good. Um, glad to be able to make it out here. Um, I was definitely on the right trail, so, um, 
definitely having a map and be able to read maps actually comes in handy. So, anyway, yeah. Lucky, come here. Stay. Sit. Don't want to run offering too far. <laughs> but, uh, this is nice out here, you guys. Um, definitely a little bit different. You know, Lucky's hearing all the, uh, the crickets and the bugs, you know, chirping at night. But, uh, Got my tent all set up. Started you know, put my food inside the bag. I need to find a tree, at least a good 20 feet away. I'll be able to string up. It's a good thing I got some light here, so I could be able to do that. Um, so it's definitely a, you know a good experience. I tell you what. But tomorrow we'll be able to freaking set up the emergency tent. Sorry, I wasn't able to do it tonight. Um, it was kind of like, you know, rest on time. Uh, so, which is good though, because this is all part of, you know, survival. Sometimes, you know, you have to bring and beat it out in, in a hurry and, and find a spot to, you know, be able to lay down for the night. Uh, so, this is definitely coming handy. Come here, Lucky. You're burning yourself. Come on. Give me a second here. I'm gonna get lucky out of here. Come here. Lucky. Come here. Come here. Sit right here. Sit. Stay. 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 There you go, that's better. But I don't know if you'll be able to see him. He's right here. <laughs> Stay right here. So Is nice. I don't want to run this uh, too much because I don't want to sit here and talk to you guys to death and bore you. But uh, um, like I said, it was like uh, a good two miles or so. Shh, it's okay. It's just bugs. Uh, but it definitely was a climb. Um, definitely going home would be a lot easier. Uh, I'm gonna like that. Uh, that's gonna be really really nice. Um, well, or, by the way, I was able to find my saw. It was in my bag. Uh, so, stay here, boy. Stay here. But, uh, so, yeah, you guys can barely see me. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me. Definitely going to play this back so that way I don't have to see if I don't have to re-record -re it or not. But, Oh, those are popping. It's a good thing I'm in an open area and it's all dirt. Yeah, there's no no grass to get around. It's all wet. Uh, it's, it's wet here. It's definitely freaking wet. So that's good. It's definitely good. But, don't want to pop it too much. Come here, Lucky. No, 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 no. Oh, come over this way. You're, you're gonna get hot. It's hot by this fire. But, definitely experience for him. This is his first backpacking trip. He's never done this before. So, you know. By the way, I've seen the trail for him to, to Tumuk, or Tumuk Mountain. I don't know if I'll be able to bring, go over that way or not. It's kind of like a little bit out of my distance where I really originally wanted to go. But I did see the trail. Um, looks like it goes for miles. I've seen the freaking the peak of it out there. So, definitely, uh, come here. Jump over this log. Come here. Stay here. Get him situated. He's new at this. So, um,. But, well, he definitely will keep me warm at night, that's for sure. Um, it's not too, really too chilly. But, uh, so, anyway, I'm probably going to turn this uh, off for a little while. I'm going to eat this apple, and uh, um, 
I even know I'm talking. Yep. About seven minutes in, into this. Well, we'll see how far we go tomorrow. I mean, it looks a little too sketchy if, you know, things don't come out with plan. That's okay. We uh, definitely trial and error. This is definitely my first one, so I don't have to go freaking too far out. And I, I bet you guys understand that, that, uh, you know, still learning. You know, I have gone a lot of backpacking trips, but uh, I'm still learning. That's for darn sure. So, but. I feel like freaking that, that uh, you know, things are getting a little too stiff, you know, especially for him. We'll definitely head back down, you know, and just make it a day. Um, probably in the afternoon sometime, make it back at night. But, uh, but we'll see in the morning. We'll see how things go, freaking how things turn out. So, we'll definitely, uh, we'll definitely keep you guys in touch. Uh. So, I'm going to eat this apple, and I'll definitely see you guys in the morning. For sure. Right. Good night. Hey, everybody. It's, uh, like 4 in the morning right now. Uh, I can't sleep a wink. I think Lucky slept a little bit, but I keep him up and stuff. And Yeah, it's... My tank keeps flapping in the wind and stuff, and it freaking wakes me up. And and uh, I don't know. I'm just super tired. And can't sleep. And uh, see about tomorrow. I don't know. You know. Might get some shut eye for a little bit, but um, just about ready to call it in. Uh, yeah, so that's my thoughts right now. I don't know. It's like too quiet out here. And uh, this kind of scared the shit out of me a little bit. Uh, but anyway, that's my thoughts on it anyway. So, try to see if we, can, if we can get some shut eye. You see the sun kind of coming up a little bit um, over the horizon. So, we'll just have to see. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Uh, it's really hard to see me, but I just wanted to let you guys know I just seen the shooting star. It was really, really pretty. Um... I don't know if you guys can see it, but nah, you probably won't be able to see it. But the stars are out. I see the light going over the uh, mountain area over there. It's starting to get uh, a little bit lighter. Uh, but yeah, definitely horrible over again. I think it's got to do a lot with the tent that I have. Um, that's definitely. Uh, a no go on that. Boy, do I miss my little uh, Ozark Trail because I slept in that like a baby. So, but I don't know. I just keep on hearing the noise and Lucky does move a lot and and uh, you know, usually he would hear somebody if something that something's coming. But this kind of freaks me out a little bit. Wakes me out of a dead sleep, and then it's hard to get back to uh, asleep again, you know. Especially you're out here in the middle of nowhere, all you can hear is crickets and noises. And I definitely woke up a, actually a couple times. I started a fire, went ahead and just let it burn. Um, 
there was a lot of moisture freaking in the air, so um, it was no problem just burning it while I get some shut eye. So sitting by the fire again. And I'm actually waiting until it gets a little lighter before I bust my food out. I've got it hanging in the tree right now. Um, I definitely don't want to uh, grab it right now because you know I end up boiling it and then it's smelling it. But I keep hearing noises in the trees or something like that. But I think it's just me and the fire and lucky chewing on something. But it's totally different. I definitely got to take uh, people with me. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting there talking to my dog, just talking and talking. And uh, he's definitely a good listener because uh, all he does is listen. So, but anyway, you guys, I'm going to wait for the sunrise to go up. Probably get something to eat. Maybe. Maybe see if I can get some shut eye. Um, hit the fishing hole and um, I don't know. We might end up just walking down the hill and going uh, camping in the campground uh, area that's down there, freaking at the at the bottom. So um, don't want to call it quits yet. Uh, definitely depends on freaking Lucky's food because I thought I brought enough, but. He definitely freaking de devoured quite a bit of it when he was eating. So, well, anyway, guys, wait for the sunrise to go up, and uh, I'll definitely show you a video once I see it, or once you guys see it, because it's still kind of dark outside. And but I can definitely see it. it's coming out, it's starting to get lighter and lighter. So, I'll give it a few more minutes, and then uh, I'll catch you on the next one. All right. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I I seen quite a bit of bear poop, um, especially freaking down uh, when I was heading over to you know Big Sister uh, before I decided to stay here in between the both of them. But yeah, there's some bear poop, so they're definitely out there. I don't think they're really messing me too much because I've been having the fire going all night, so. Um, it is true, it does freaking keep a little bit of stuff away, you know. So, it's nice about it to be able to freaking maintain it enough where it's not going to go anywhere. And, uh, normally I don't do that, but it's freaking, it's, it's, it's pretty moist on the ground. Actually, Lucky's feet was like dirty. I had to wipe them off a few times. Um. Uh, I just don't want him crawling in the tent with me, so. But. Alright. Well, let's wait for that sun to come out. And uh, then I'll show you guys. I don't know if you can see the ants, but they definitely do not like this fire. Not one single bit. Get the flashlight on them a little bit. Oh, there's one right there. You see them? invaded their home but need the fire there you go you guys sun's starting to come up oh look at that a jet flew by I didn't notice So it's starting to come up, starting to see a little bit better. I think Lucky is uh, I don't know if you can see him. Uh, probably can't see him yet. Still kind of a little dark, but at least you can see halfway. Now well, we'll wait a little bit more and then we'll catch it again. There we go. Another sunrise. 
still waiting for the red. The orangish, reddish color freaking going over the hills. I don't see it yet, but definitely see a lot better. Still can't see my tent, but there we go. these Christmas trees. I think I'm gonna go here for a Christmas tree. Yeah. Good old pine. Well, getting brighter. Oh, if you turn the camera, you can see freaking the fog freaking coming in on the on the lake. It's actually quite cool, but it looks kind of freaky at the same time. But yeah, still have a fire going. It's been burning for a while. I was actually brave enough and I actually went out there and grabbed me a couple pieces that I could find with the flashlight. <laughs> a little scary. A little scary. That's for sure. But of course it took Lucky with me. My little protector. Can I get up here? Huh? Well, definitely I would say it's, I think it's pretty safe to grab the food out of the tree and get us something to eat. I know Lucky's probably hungry and thirsty. I'm hungry and thirsty. They didn't get any water. They don't want to beat the thicket to the lake. And it's really dark and it's kind of rugged over there on the bank. And there is no way. And it's pretty tripping and falling or something. So definitely had to play it safe. And uh, my throat's all dry. I can feel my eyes. It's freaking heavy. <laughs> it's great though. It's great. It's like quiet. Really quiet. Too quiet, I think. Yeah, I think Lucky might knock down the tripod here. Yeah. Uh, so... All right, look at that. Look at the fog just rolling in on the lake. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, well, it was definitely worth it for you can wake it up early. Get to see the sunrise and the fog rolling over the river. That's definitely really, really, really cool. Breakfast. Get lucky some breakfast first. All right. You hungry, boy? Come here. Let's 
see how much you devoured it. No. Oh, it's halfway. I don't know. Here's his dog food. Maybe, uh, maybe it might last. I don't know. Probably not. He did burn a lot for him heading up that hill. <laughs> Looks like he needed a little workout too. Kibbles and bits. All right, start out with that. Yeah, probably won't be enough food. Definitely have to uh, pull a trip early. Ah. No, eat your food. Come on. I know you're hungry. He's probably more thirsty than he is hungry right now. I have to go gather up some water since it's uh, nice and clear outside. Be able to see. Tilt the camera here a little bit. I want you guys to look at my crotch. Sorry about that. Well. Oh, he was hungry after all. Definitely go down and get some uh, some water so that way I can uh, uh, get something to drink too. And and uh, oh, that reminds me too. When we were headed from the truck yesterday, um, I actually managed to grab a couple of uh, wine coolers or beers or whatever they are. They're like. Uh, they're actually my wife's uh, uh, little alcohol beverages, but now don't tell her. <laughs> uh, I left them in the truck. So it's like, geez, you know, um, that way I can be able to go down there and just uh, do it. But I did say in the first video that I was only going to make this 24 hour trip. And it uh, looks like I'm, I'm going to do about that. Um, Probably won't be able to set up the freaking emergency tent. Like I said, I was freaking short on time. Um, I didn't want to set it up. And I'm actually kind of glad I did or didn't. If it gets too hot, then uh, I'll definitely set it up and curl in there inside. Um, but uh, other than that, oh, the smoke is getting big. Other than that, you know, the, uh, the tent worked out pretty good. Here in a minute, uh, when we get something to eat, whatever, I'll crawl inside and show you. But uh, kind of like a living space, but it's really not that big. It's actually a one person. Um, it was definitely cold last night. Um, it, uh, I think I, I, I brought a little temperature gauge, a uh, uh, little temperature thing, and uh, it said for 46. So roughly about 46. Uh, degrees last night so he definitely kept me warm that's good you know um, enough body heat in there um, it really was um, um, it was really uh, quite nice actually um, other than it did um, build up a little bit of moisture so I put it in uh, I put my poncho and I a tarp over the top of it um, that was what was waking me up because the wind was hitting it all night long <laughs> so definitely gonna try something different definitely gonna probably gonna go back to my uh, little red tent on backpack trips but this is definitely not the last trip that I will do I will definitely do a lot more so well you got a little bit of fire BS uh, quite a bit so we're gonna head down. We're gonna go get some water. I definitely gotta take him with me because uh, he's hearing things he's never heard before, like ducks and and uh, uh, what you see over there in the tree, whatever. He was chasing something. I don't know a field mouse or something. I don't know, but he sees something that, that caught his eye that he's never seen before. So um, that's why I'm keeping him on a leash. Uh, if anybody you were wondering. The reason why um, 
They did say leashes um, um, on the trail. And uh, they didn't say anything about, you know, not, you know, let them run around a little bit. But I'm definitely not going to do that. Uh, maybe a little bit, but uh, try to keep him as close to me as possible. Because if he sees anything, he'll be gone. He'll just take off. And uh, then I have to go track through the freaking woods to try to find him. So it definitely does not sound like a fun time. So. The smoke's getting to me. Let's go down and get some water. I'm thirsty. Thirsty. All right, well, four minutes to freaking just get water. Holy cow, you guys. Uh, it's kind of pulling a little bit, but uh, anyway, it looks actually pretty clear. So, we go find my aqua tabs or whatever and uh, put those in there and call it good. So, uh, will you follow me? Come on. Let's go. So, anyway, just head back up there. Hopefully the fire hasn't burned out. Got some amber is freaking burning really hot, so might be able to uh, uh, just cook on that. Good old ambers are good. Lucky, come here. Look at him. He's just having a blast. All right. So, well, I'm thirsty and hungry. This is definitely a big experience, you guys. A big one. Uh, it's all part of survival, I guess. But we got the shelter, got the water. Now let's get the food. All right.